Hi everyone. I just wanted to go over the answers for our Everyday Math Unit 7 Review Study Guide on fractions. So let's start with number one. Circle the container that's most likely to hold about three, 200, excuse me, 250 milliliters of liquid. That would be a juice box. Water bottle would be more than that. We said that was about 1,000 milliliters, and a bathtub would be way more. Solve each measurement story, nup measurement number story in problems two through four, and show your work. Maggie fills these two beakers and pours them into her jar. Now pretend like they don't show her other jar, but pretend like over here there's another jar. She's gonna pour both of these things into her jar, and there's no room left in her jar. So how much, what is the volume of her jar? We're just going to add the 150 plus 60, and then we're gonna get 210 milliliters. All right, Sam fills a beaker with 1,000 milliliters of water, and then he pours some of the water from the beaker to fill a cup. There are 600 milliliters of water left. What's the liquid volume of the cup? We could do 1,000 minus 600, and we would get 400 milliliters. One pencil has a mass of about six grams. What is the mass of 11 pencils altogether? So 11 times six is 66. Jonah uses his fraction strips to compare one fourth and one fifth. So I could color in one fourth, color in one fifth. He writes this number sentence, one fourth is less than one fifth. Do you agree with Jonah? And I would say, no, I don't agree with Jonah. If I look here, one fourth is actually greater than one fifth. One fourth is larger than one fifth because one part of the fourth strip is larger than one part of the fifth fraction strip. Again, that's larger. That goes to this line and this goes to that line. All right. Partition the number line into thirds and label each tick mark. One third, two thirds, three thirds. How far did the star move? Record the fraction. One, two, three fourths. Write greater than, less than, or equal to to make the number sentence true. The whole is the same for each fraction. You can use your fraction tools. One half equals two fourths. Three fifths is less than three fourths. One fourth is greater than one eighth. And five third is greater than four thirds. Now show how you can compare one half and two fourths using the number line. If I would divide this whole, the whole is zero to one, into four equal parts, one, two, three fourths. And then again, if I could do it into the same distance, if I could do it into one, two halves, this is two fourths, this is one half. So two fourths is the same distance as one half. I can just show it that way. Fill in the missing fourths on the number line. Zero fourth, one fourth, two fourth, three fourth, four fourth, five fourth, six fourth, seven fourth, eight fourth. And then draw a point at five fourths right there. Is five fourths greater than, less than, or equal to one? It's actually greater than one. Here is one, four fourths, five fourths is greater. Five fourths is to the right of one on the number line. The numerator is also greater than the denominator, so that shows it's greater than a whole, greater than one. Solve the fraction stories and show your work. You can use fraction circles, fraction strips, number lines, or drawings. Lucy walked half one fourth of a mile right there. Ben walked one eighth of a mile. Who walked the greater distance? Well, one fourth is greater to two, is equivalent to two eighths. And one fourth is going to be greater than one eighth. Two eighths is greater than one eighth. So Lucy. Now six friends share three apples equally. What fraction of an apple does each friend get? Here, here's a possible solution. If I draw circles for fraction circles for the apples. One, two, three. And then if I divide them in half, and there's six friends, each one gets a half. Here's one friend, one friend, three friend, four friend, five friend, and six friend. 
So each one's going to get exactly half of an apple. What fraction is the fraction strip showing? One, two, three, four. And tucked behind there is the fifth, one fifth. But it is only showing four fifths. Partition this fraction strip to show fourths. One, two, three, four. Four equal parts. Label with the fractions. One fourth, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. Draw a line from each number sentence to the picture that matches it. Four eighths is equal to a half. Scroll down, and that would be this one. Three fourths is less than four fourths. That would be this one. This is three fourths, that's four fourths. Three fourths is greater than one half. That would be this one, three fourths and one half. Five fourths is greater than two thirds. This is five fourths, that's two thirds. Zach made a mistake when he labeled one third on the number line. He crossed out his mistake, but he needs help to fix it. You would put one third right there because one third is between zero and one, not to the right of one. It's one third of the distance between zero and one. One third. This is divided into three equal parts. Label third right there. Five people share 10 dimes. Circle each person's square, share. Here's the 10 dimes. Each person will get two. One person, two, three, four, and then five. Two dimes each. Write the fraction of the total number of dimes that each person gets. If there is 10 total, you could say that each person gets two tenths of the total, or an equivalent fraction would be one fifth. Emily and Alex each have eight blocks. Six eighths of Emily's blocks are blue, two eighths of Alex's blocks are blue. Shade the blocks to show Emily and Alex's blue blocks. Who has more blocks? Emily. Mark and label the points two thirds, five thirds, and eight thirds on the number line. Here is two thirds, and I can mark it. If I wanted to, I could put a tick mark here and a tick mark here for three equal parts. This is the second of the third five-thirds, and then eight-thirds is here. Right, greater than, less than, I'm sorry, less than, greater than, or equal to to make the number sentences true. Use the number line above to help. Five-thirds is less than two, because here's five-thirds, here's two, so it's to the left. Eight-thirds is greater than two. Here's eight-thirds, it's to the right of two. Maya shared 12 stickers equally with her two sisters, Madison and Maggie. Write at least three different equivalent fractions that name each girl's share of the stickers. She, if she shared with Madison and Maggie, each person would get four, of the, a four out of 12 of those stickers. An equivalent fraction to four twelfths, because four plus four plus four, there's three girls. Maya and her two sisters, three total. So each one gets four, four plus four plus four. Then an equivalent fraction to four twelfths is also one third or two sixths. Write less than, greater than, or equal to to make the number sentence true. One fourth is equal to two eighths. Three fifths is less than three fourths. Five fourths is less than three halves. And three fourths is greater than three sixths. Choose a fraction tool to help you compare three-fourths and three-sixths. Draw a picture to show what you did. I, we use fraction strips here. So you can draw the fraction strips, and then I know that three-fourths is greater than three-sixths. The open response review. Kate ate one-fourth of a pie. Michael ate one-fourth of a pie. Kate said she ate more pie than Michael, but Michael said they both ate the same amount. Use words and pictures to show that Kate could be right. Hmm, well maybe Kate ate more than Michael because her pie was bigger. So if she had a bigger pie than Michael, it could be possible that Kate could be right and her pie was bigger. And so her one fourth of that pie was a larger piece. Use words and pictures to show that Michael could be right. Well, both of their pies could be exactly the same. So Michael could be right because their, their pies were the same size. And that's it.